Third time's a charm, isn't it? On this episode of Final Fantasy XIV. Um, I've had some issues with recording this specific episode. Um, a couple mini cutscenes. I'll, tr I'll plot them in at the beginning or end or wherever they go. But, yeah. I've not been having a good time at recording this. I almost forgot to hit the record button this time. So... Yeah, this is my third try to do this, but because I am dedicated to everyone. And, um, first thing you need to watch out for is these manor maid servants. They have a ten. Oh, they got the other one. You never want to get more than one maid servant. Because one is hard enough, two is just suicide. We won't die from it, I'm pretty sure, but... As you know, I'm a pretty awesome tank, if I must say so myself. Yeah, see, that didn't go too bad. But yeah, I tried to avoid getting multiples at the same time, but... I can't control my other party members. Where they stand and everything. In fact, I expect a few more bad pulls. I do not have that on. Um, yeah, so you may notice I'm a few levels higher than I was in the episode prior to this. And that is because, again, this is the third shot. I did, I think I'm up to episode 58 on my recordings. And... I am doing this after that, so forgive the um, difference in level. Not really much will change, but yeah, no. And why? Why are you going over there? This dungeon is a curse to me. I don't like it. Um. I'm essentially not liking it since it's been the bane of my attempting to show everyone in the dungeons of the game. But, alas, I will have to live with it. The good news is I got the dungeon after this one all perfectly set up. And I hate that one a little more. Oh, Brave Blocks. I hate you. And your cheese. Because, well, you're making me do a dungeon for cheese. But that's another dungeon, so. It's made her manor maidservant. She just went in here. I'm gonna get her, because she will come around. There's also a coffer over there that you can pop open. You know, generally contains crap like potions and ethers, but you know, sometimes they'll get that ether. Okay, so we go to this next room where we encounter attic bats and carpet stains. I don't want to know what kind of carpet stains are here with succubi. Succubuses? No, just suck a bye. And... Well... I think the main reason I hate this is because I got it all the time after I unlocked it on my first character. It's like, ugh, not again. Yeah, I'm sure everyone has that one dungeon that they think that about. And there's also a benefit for me having Flash. Um, Overpower uses a lot of TP. Um, and having the Flash, which it casts based on... Um, where, where did we get the key? Someone got the key. But um, Flash is will drain your MP. And for Warriors, you don't need to worry about MP. 
and I have 242 that gives me several flashes and by the time I feel I might need another flash I'll have that back so this is another one of those tricky corner pulls that people are going to probably screw up uh, since the succubi is not over there I'm going to do that And hope they realize that they should run back. Because there is a manor maidservant that patrols the hallway. And rather than waiting for her to come, I figure, you know, why don't we... Ah! I don't know why he did that. Actually, I have a slight idea, and that's my own fault, but otherwise, um, I don't know why I did that. Probably don't see anything on my desktop, though, so we are safe. Oh, come on, bat. The attic does just give you a fright. Eating attic, attics both day and night. And you rest for a minute, maybe three, then they're eating all your crap in your a attic. I never said I was a good parody singer. Never once. And it's, uh, it's like a buyer teaming up again today. Oh, there's one. Now we're going to get the other two, aren't we? I just need to move her back a little. I think one of them might be between the two. And one of them will be on that other side. They, they don't both aggro together, but more likely you're going to get both of them together. And... It is exactly as nasty as it sounds. You get a debuff where you can't... Well, pretty much can't do anything. But... Yeah, we're about to the first boss. Haven't explained much about the key, the tiny keys yet, though. The tiny keys are used to open doors. Generally, most of the people skip some of the door for either not having an item or just being a waste of time. Um, then there are some that everyone will always go to. So, okay, this is our first boss against the Manor Clavenger. Pretty much is the same as the fight with the Succubi outside, but she has a couple extra moves like Void Fire. Um, now there's another one. And she, as you can see, she's actually dropping down pretty easy. Which is good. There's Void Fire too. I didn't have... Oh, I did have stun up. Oopsie! But yes, my real level right now is 34. Um, quite a bit further in the mission lines than this quest, obviously. I think I'm ne like through the next two arts. Why did my son not go off? Get some hate. Put some of that on. And I think I mentioned it in my um, 
my vlog, the excuses videos. I'm not going to be warning anyone anymore that they're getting recorded because, well, as much as that might improve some of my subscriber counts, it's probably going to piss people off later. Dark Mist, you don't want to get stuck in that. that get, that's the one that gives you the, like, you can't move thing. And apparently you can't stun that, so you can't stun the void fire. So I just kind of ate it. Now there is one interesting thing after this boss that I would wonder if the people who came here the first time had no idea. But we get a green key here. And the treasure chest spawn over there. But we do not want to go through that door. We actually want to go through this door back to where we came and we want to get go to the ivy door that door that just opened when we killed the boss that leads back to the beginning and oh, which way do they want to take I guess we're taking the long way there's two ways that you can skip this pool entirely, or you can just go after them all. Um, pretty much doing it because there are people that need experience. If they were all 31, I probably would not pull this. But, next, next part will be interesting. Not really, but there's a couple things I get to talk about down there. Yeah. I'm glad I have all of my weapons, even and defiance. Defiance is my savior. As we all know, I can't tank for shit. I think this is like the first dungeon that you're able to do that in. Hey, where you guys think you're going? Let's see, Flash. I believe I've already gone over the benefits of Flash. Um, but yeah, this is about... I'd say the halfway point of the dungeon. Well, yellow key. Is that, that? Hmm. Is that the carnation door? No, that doesn't sound right. Maybe I'm going crazy. It is about 5 a.m. after all. I'm also partially into my meds. And now we can go out the door. We got in the key. Yep, it, the yellow key is for the carnation door. Oh, people. Let the tank run out first. So, yeah, we have more succubi in this hallway. Um, if you try to go right, you'll get into a dead end, so don't even bother. You will see that dead end later. And let's pull these. And use a little flash. Fantastic Philly Flash. I don't know. I'm bored and tired. And I'm trying to make this fun, but I can't. And are these both facing me? I can't see through the abilities. I keep meaning to turn this back off because I had to reinstall the game. 
But I keep forgetting to. Because, you know, it kind of does get annoying with that. And there's tiny keys in here. Two of them, you want to grab them. Does not matter who grabs them, they're all with the party. Do I want to go in there? Do I need to go in there? No. No, but I'm glad she was right where I wanted to be. This is another one of those really weird pulls. Uh, do I want Malachi earrings? No, no I don't. Oh damn, I'm gonna hit 35 in this. And I'm lagging. Oh, I hope that doesn't screw up this recording. I've had bad ha things happen when I'm lagging. Oh my god, why is everything not on me? I can only do so many things at a time. Yeah, I think it's all these effects going on that are making this an issue. Like I said, I'll try to remember to turn it off, but um, you'll have to deal with it for a couple episodes. Like, let's see, seven, I think? Um, obviously not counting quickies and separate dungeons by themselves. So I do know the next major dungeon, it, I didn't turn it off, so. <laughs> I will probably do that after this video. Or I may not. I don't know. I'm so confused. What is what is my life? Um, you can go in there. I don't think there's anything in there actually. This door, on the other hand, has mobs and the carnation key. So you want to open it. So let's kill them. I don't think we have another friend that's approachable from here. So. I'm not worried about where we're standing. But, and that is actually our dead end over there that I mentioned earlier. So we basically just did a big loop in the basement. Oh, well, we gotta find bloody parchment. Damn the bloody parchment. Why you gotta be so bloody? And stuff is dying very quickly. Not really quick enough at all. I wasn't trying to make it tune to anything. I just... You know how I am. You guys watch me be random. Actually, no one watches me, so I don't know. But behind the carnation door is our second boss. The Manor Steward and the Manor Jester. In this, um, we're going to mark him with one. Because we want to kill the Manor Jester first. The Manor Steward can sit for a little bit, but the Manor Jester is just weaker, so... We're going to get him first. And I am on the steward. But that's pretty much it. You kill the imp, which is the manor jester, then you kill the skeleton. There's no special gimmicks to it. Uh, dodge your moves and do your roll. And possibly shut your hole. Oh, 
Uh, why is someone attacking it? I get it could be from me, but you know how much I like to blame other people for my mishaps. No, that's a lie. I actually very often take I often take blame for things that I know aren't my fault. <laughs> okay, this guy is not too hard either. Just, I guess people just like to take care of the magic user first. Because the magic users have a bit of programming in them that doesn't match what players can do. They can cast out... They have infinite magic, they can cast out spells faster than you. NPCs cheat at this game. But there will be something new and pretty much unique to this dungeon alone in this thing as soon as we finish this boss. Alright, we need the bloody parchment. Don't let them get the coffers. And anything in here for me? No. And no. So what we want to do now is we could run back to the entrance because that's where our destination is or we can use return. Man, it happened again. That's gonna fuck me up. Please don't make me up to this the fourth time, you stupid program. Just something I meant to close and I forgot. And I take a little bit to load, so and now Yeah, like they're explaining to this guy. But Yeah, they explained it a lot easier than I would have, so can I really actually just press P and... No, I guess not. Alright, so we want to go up these stairs now. And with the bloody parchment, we can break through the sealed barrier. And further up the stairs, we have the Manor Sentry. Yeah, that can be a thing. Alright, so with the Manor Sentry, he does not stay the whole fight. He will leave at about, I want to say, 50%. And uh, I did not turn on previously watched cutscenes again, did I? In fact, let's do that real quick. There we go. Because this next little cutscene will be a little fun. I'm going to do the... Well, I have the end of um, this dungeon in another video, but if you really want to see the beginning, I'm just record it elsewise and it Ariman Sentry comes over and wakes up Lady Amadine who is the final boss of the dungeon make sure because you know I never trust anyone let's see well guess I'll just slowly walk forward and uh, I hope that person will get the lamps As there are 
there are a couple gimmicks in this fight that weren't in any of the other fights in here. The first one should be coming up really soon. Which is these void lamps. And your the people in your party need to go turn them off. Generally, two people doing it is fine. Preferably three people, your tank is not going to get oh, much chance in to do it. So, but you need to hit all four of them. Or else you're just getting pointlessly damaged. I want to say it increases the more you... You do not want to stand in Dark Mist. And I just got hit by Dark Mist. And the Void Lamp has started. And there's an ad. Um, come here, little ad. There are several ads in this fight. Everything up to and including the succubi I toyed around with. Oh god, if I keep having to get the ads, that's gonna be a thing. Normally I just leave the ads to the DPS, so... Oh god, it didn't stun her. I didn't have a chance. At least they're getting the handmaid down pretty quickly, but we need to get these guys. And, oh good, they're on us. So, that's pretty much... Oh, we lost someone. I will kill it. So, hopefully someone will have a um, thing, a limit break. Oh good, someone's limit breaking. And I leveled! And, as usual, Get loot and player combinations. I like the healer. And something that is completely useless to me. Oh, I obtained it anyways because I was the last person out. But, anyways, since we have seen, since the next cutscene will be in the following video, I'm going to cut this off here. So, I hope you've enjoyed and have fun.